ist einer der größten Momente meiner Karriere. Es war so anstrengend. Draußen ist so heiß und ich musste mit dem 8 Kilometer vor in der Hitze. Aber es hat sich gelohnt. Marina, thank you so much for taking time. I feel super honored. You're my first gold medal winner I'm talking to. <laughs> so welcome, you're welcome. Thank you so much for welcoming me to your home. And actually it was a huge surprise for Marina. She thought I would do like a three question podcast. Yes. Yes, I, I, I don't even know we was gonna make a podcast. So sometimes there are people who want to make an interview or a video from me. I never know how professional Uh, the people is because I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, it was a surprise that it was something bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> well, anyway, we will see. The we thing is, see. the biggest thing are you here. And uh, this is what we'd like to talk about because it's about outstanding people, outstanding personalities, you know. Yes. And uh, I mean, you've, you've had huge achievements in sports. So I was reading through all your medals and, and wins and I could just not memorize all of them. I just found <laughs> out I have a cap <laughs> from Beijing from 2008 and you can relate to that. Huh? Und nur damit es klar ist. Die Cup ist ein Original und zwar meine. Yes, yes, that was my first Olympic Games. So how did that go for you? The first one. The first one. Well, um, I've been trying to go to Athens, but I didn't qualify. So I was already super happy to be participating in the in the Olympics because it's already like something that it was one of my goals just to compete. I was one of the favorite, but the conditions was not my best. We was sailing in Qingdao, and it's a really special place. We had a like a big wave like six meters wave with no wind so when you was up in the wave you have some wind coming like really from one side and going down to the wave wind was shifting it was like something super hard i finished fourth that until the last moment i was uh, fighting for the medal Finish fourth that they always say is the worst place to be but but I was happy that I really give my best mm. I did really good so I come back like really with a, a, a nice sensation that I uh, I've been doing good I was super focused for the next Olympics because I was like now <laughs> now I want a medal mm. You did make it, I guess. Yes. <laughs> We have it on the table here. Yes. May so, I? May I? I'm yes, so sure. So four years later, I get my gold medal in the next Olympics. Look here. <laughs> I mean, it looks nice on me too. Oh, it looks but this so is nice. this is where it belongs. It, you look, know? it looks so nice. So you have this. That is the one that all the the medals, Olympic yeah. medals, has this face. And this was was the special from London, 2012. So yeah, Amazing. this is my my beautiful medal. <laughs> How does it feel today? I mean, you have well, more more medals than that, I think. But this is like your your one Olympic gold medal. Yes, yes. Well, when I see, it, there are so much efforts, everything, everything. Like I get like <laughs> yeah, my skin, my skin go <laughs> go up. Like I, I sacrificed like 20 years of, of my life wow. to have a, a, a this medal. And when I see, I feel like really proud and really lucky because there are people like me who sacrifice everything I, and they don't even get a medal. That's the normal thing, no? So I'm, I feel like, how do you say, excited? Excited. <laughs> excited yeah. and proud. You, you, sh you should be proud of yourself. Yeah. Um, what I really like is, I think this was uh, 2012, London? Yes. So 
we're doing this interview in 2023. Yes. It's been 11 years and it still excites you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, even more. Even more. Even more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, with, with the time, I see that it's so hard to have one gold medal. Like, it's, it's not just you have to be the best. It's, you have to be the best and many, many, many things more. No, you have. I say like you need to have the, all the planets in a line. Because you say like all the planets need to be yes. in a line. Yes. Are you a spiritual person? Do you believe in astrology? Mm, not is really, it just but, like a saying? But, but it's like for real, I was even more prepared to win. I was still the favorite, the faster, the stronger, everything. And I finished fifth. And I had so many problems, so many little steps that I have to get through and I say like wow that's so hard and then in this Olympics I win so easy it was one of my easiest <laughs> championship like I won from the first moment to the end and and with a really big um, uh, leading from the second like it was super easy everything was easy going boom do you believe in something like destiny Were you destined to win or how would you describe that? No, I don't think so. Like, <clears throat> well, more prepared you are, more lucky you are, mm. no? So, uh, in my sport, you depend on the condition of the place. We really change uh, in the sailing, in my sport, it really changes of the places. Mm -hmm. so London was my condition. Flat water, shifty wind, medium, so it was like my condition. It was super fast, super confident, and I won the world championship, and I won all the championships I did there, I won. So it, the Olympics came and I won easy, it was my conditions. It was so hard for me, Rio, I have so many problems with so many things. It was first, I, I was going to finish gold. Then one passed me, two passed me, I was going to second, I was going third until the end. So suddenly the wind dropped completely. And I, I was in the, um, with the top group, top group uh, finish, and I get stuck in one point. Mm -hmm. Like this is something that mm, doesn't happen really often. But it's happened to me, boom, no wind. <laughs> so no wind means you are not moving. I will never forget. I see the Brazilian girl, that small, f with fully wind coming to me, and I was like, no way. In the moment I'm looking behind, I already know I'm in trouble. <laughs> so I remember looking behind that it was already something really bad for me. And when I see this girl coming like from really, really far away, really small, but super fast, I'm saying I'm over. I start to pump, but nothing was happening. So this girl was like boom, 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 boom. And because she passed me in the last moment, I finished fifth instead of third. There are things like this that they are out of your control, you know? So it's not enough to be the best. It's you need to be the best and you need to, like, everything has to be like this, no? Mm. I understand what, what you say about, like, the outside conditions, oh, yeah. they need to support you. Uh, totally. And totally. yet, I'm sure, I'm sure you agree, and still I want to know, because you are the expert, it's also an inside job, because I'm a huge mindset fan, you know, I'm totally interested in how people think. And you have outside conditions, but you also have like inside conditions. Yeah. What do you think what makes you so strong that you became a gold medal um, winner what do you think about maybe yourself or yes, the world I or think the sport when, when i have something hard happen to me it put me up i take it like okay now you want to see <laughs> 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 if this is gonna happen to me you're gonna see me in the next i guess there are people that when something Uh, unfair or not nice or hard happen to them, just put, put them down. Me, it gives it, it give me so much energy that I say like, okay, now I'm gonna give my best, like gonna be super focused and I really gonna try my best. It really gives me energy. Why are some people like that? 
that they say, oh, there is a challenge, come on, bring it on, bring it on, you yeah. know, and others say, this is so frustrating. Everyone has pressure, everyone, even the people who win, even the best one, everyone has a lot of pressure, but this pressure help you to be better or no. I used to train with a group of, of friends around the world. In the training, it's not that I'm not special, I'm equal, I'm yeah. equal, mm -hmm. e even a little bit worse. Mm -hmm. But when I'm in competition, I'm really good. Like sometimes, like all my techniques suddenly came, like I see everything super clear, like I, I have like superpowers. And that's why it make, make me really, really good uh, competitors, because this pressure, I don't know, gives me power. <laughs> I mean, have you ever thought or wondered why some people are like this and others get destroyed by the pressure? I don't know, because mm. I, I born like this, like I mm -hmm. never work or have someone from outside telling me, but I this kind of person that figured out about feelings a lot. I remember once the first time I was fighting for to be a world champion and I feel so much pressure that I was like, wow, I'm so nervous, la, la, la. And then I say to myself, Marina, you are in the position that you always want to be. You, when you was the fourth in the world, you was not having this, but now that you are the best, you are feeling this. And this is something that were, what you always been looking for. So enjoy, Marina. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy, because this is what you want, what you was looking for. So now that you feel it, enjoy. So I was taking this pressure and all this feeling. I was breathing, I was like, Ah, here I am. Let's go. A natural born self coach, you could say. Right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, because actually, uh, I, I've been hearing a lot of uh, techniques, mm -hmm. and I was like, this is what I did all my life. <laughs> <laughs> In the end, is is about to enjoy. Whatever you feel and you have and the situation you are. If you enjoy it, you are allowed to give your best. You are a perfectionist when it comes to sport, you said, not like yes. housework. And I'm and weird. And I'm, I'm in, th in one thing, yes, but in, the, in others, I don't care about anything. So I'm a little bit weird, yeah. But in, in sports, you're like a perfectionist. It, oh, yes. In a sports, everything. I was so organized with my things and everything have to be super in the line and everything, measure and everything, and I have to do it because I don't trust anyone to do it. It has to be my way and everything really organized. Yet, this morning or this afternoon, you had a very interesting moment you talked about. Would, would you share it with me? Yeah. I was on the beach and watching my friends that they was just chilling, going and back and not trying even to jump and I was like wow I, I'm jealous I'm jealous that they can enjoy just going and back like I will not enjoy I have to really try push crash fail and try again so this is my but if this is you you're really you what do you think? Why did you get jealous? What, what are you jealous of? <clears throat> to just go and back, don't try anything, don't push, and still having fun. Do you think you can ever reach that point in your life? Uh, maybe when I will be 90, 100, <laughs> 100 years old, I see, I see myself going and back, chilling, mm -hmm. but... but if my body can push, I will push. Mm -hmm. What makes you an outstanding personality? I think really different from other people. That's for sure. I had a really different life. I was not uh, in a school, so I... <laughs> Never? I, I, I've been 
But when I was when I was 16, I get inside the Olympic team, so I quit um, the school. Mm -hmm. I was no doing with my age like normal mm -hmm. people. I'm not so inside a box like everyone is, and I think this helped me a lot to think how I think because I was not like had a normal education. We can say. My mom was always really free. I always told me if, if this is gonna make me happy, she supported. That that was my uh, first special point because if when I was 16, I say my mom, I'm in the Olympic team and I'm moving to Cadiz and I'm gonna quit expo uh, school. Normal mom would say no, but my mom was happy and she supported me. He, I was uh, start to have money really young, like I, I won one million peseta when I was 13 years old. <gasps> it's, it, it's not so much, Wait, it's like, it's like... I, I need to remember peseta, if you did, If you do the change, it was like 6,000 euro, but it must be like 20,000 for a 13 years. It's yes, from now. And it was a good money. So like when I was 13, I, I have my credit card, I was the first one to have a mobile in my family. I could have whatever I want, like, so. The, the guy and the boys were after you, huh? Ah, uh, already without money. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's no, no. the Spanish spirit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. No, no, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I always have an easy life, like, I you know, because I could buy, I will buy. But it helps, no? I mean, it, it made me different as yeah. well. When I was 16, like I w was already professional. 17, I bought my, new, my first house. <gasps> I started to invest money. Yes, and since I was 17 years old. Now that I'm 37, <laughs> I quit when I was 30. And I don't need to work anymore because I do my, my investments. So yeah, I was not going, I never went to university, but I was reading about, a lot about the things that I like, no? So I like a lot uh, about investment, about houses, about rentas, about yeah, mortgage, sure. about all these things that I love it. I read a, a lot about m mindset as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can see that I was just reading or doing whatever I, I was interested in. So yeah, when I was 17, it, I was interested in different things that people was, no? Mm -hmm. I never had a job, we can say. I will never have it. Well, you were working very hard. Uh, uh, yes, I've been working hard Yeah. in something that I love. All my life is like totally different. So for sure I have a thinking different like everyone said yeah becoming 90 plus um and now you're 37 there is a lot of time left yes what does an outstanding <laughs> personality do for the rest of her life if it's all not about money what are your plans marina my plans i love to travel i love surfing and do a sport so i still travel the world looking for waves and doing trips yeah, like my mission now is my daughter. I'm divorced. Mm -hmm. My daughter is half uh, two weeks with me, two weeks with the father. I have a double life. Uh, half of the life I'm a mom, fully mom. The other half and I'm fully teenager, we can say. <laughs> <laughs> and I love both mm -hmm. of them. So I never went to parties birthday, weddings, mm -hmm. nothing. So I was like super, super focused. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so now this little thing, like having a beer on the beach after sailing, for me is like, wow, super nice. My goal was to be Olympic champion. Not really, it just happened. I was in the end of my career super focused on that, mm -hmm. for sure, mm -hmm. with a big team around me, really good team, really good professional that really helped me. Alone, I will never do that. But what really, really 
put me there, it was to, be, to go in surfing as much as possible. Just make sure if you've just seen the short version in the magazine, make sure you click on the link above and watch the whole interview with Marina for the long edition. And for now, thank you so much for taking your time. And I wish you a happy, happy, fulfilled life with your daughter, with friends. Um, thank you. <laughs> maybe you can even relax before you get 90. <laughs> uh, 88? 88. Okay. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. Yes, And thank exactly. you for being such an inspiration to so many people. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.